Imagine a future where the fuel for your flight is derived from an unexpected source, human waste. Yes, you heard that right, we're talking about sustainable aviation fuel or SAF, created from the very stuff we flush down our toilets every day. You might be asking, can human waste really be a viable source for jet fuel? Well the answer is both surprising and promising. As we grapple with the current unsustainable state of aviation fuel, scientists and innovators are looking towards some out-of-the-box or, should we say, out-of-the-bowl solutions. The aviation industry responsible for nearly 2% of global carbon dioxide emissions is in dire need of a green makeover. And what could be greener than turning waste into fuel? So let's dive into the world where poop could power our planes. The aviation industry is a significant contributor to global carbon emissions. With over 20,000 commercial planes in the sky, burning millions of barrels of jet fuel every day, the impact on our environment is substantial. The need for sustainable alternatives has never been more pressing. Enter Firefly Green Fuels, a game-changer in the world of sustainable aviation fuel, or SAF. This innovative company has found a way to turn something we'd usually discard, human waste, into something incredibly useful, crude oil. It's almost like alchemy, but with a modern, eco-friendly twist. Their revolutionary process transforms sewage into a resource, a potential solution to our jet fuel problem. And it's not just about reducing carbon emissions. This approach also tackles the issue of waste management, providing a twofold benefit. And you might wonder how does this process work? Let's break it down. The magic happens through a process called hydrothermal liquefaction. This may sound like a mouthful, but it's actually quite simple if you break it down. Hydrothermal liquefaction is a process that simulates the intense heat and pressure that underground oil reserves have experienced over millions of years. But instead of waiting for eons, this process gets it done in a matter of hours. So, how does it work? Well, imagine taking sewage sludge. Yes, the stuff that comes out of our toilets, and putting it into a high-pressure cooker. This pressure cooker or reactor heats the sludge to about 660 degrees Fahrenheit and subjects it to intense pressure. This heat and pressure break down the complex organic molecules in the sludge, transforming them into simpler hydrocarbons. What comes out of this reactor is a thick black substance called bio-crude oil. This bio-crude is then refined just like traditional crude oil to separate it into different components. Among these components is jet fuel. Yes, you heard it right, jet fuel from poop. But that's not all. A byproduct of this process is something called biochar. Biochar is a charcoal-like substance that is rich in carbon. It can be used to enrich soils, increasing their fertility and helping to sequester carbon dioxide from the atmosphere. So, not only does this process create a renewable source of jet fuel but it also helps fight climate change in a second way. This process, developed by a company called Firefly Green Fuels, is truly a game changer. It's taking what is often considered a waste product and turning it into a valuable resource. However, like any innovative solution, there are hurdles to overcome. The technology is still in the early stages of development, and scaling it up to a commercial level will be a significant challenge. But with the right investment and support, poop-powered planes could become a reality in the not-too-distant future. Scaling up this technology to meet global demands is a significant challenge. But great ideas often begin as daunting tasks, don't they? Harnessing human waste to power airplanes is no exception. The main hurdle lies in the scale of operation needed to make a substantial impact. Producing just one liter of this sustainable aviation fuel requires large quantities of sewage, and this is just a drop in the vast ocean of aviation fuel requirements. A second challenge is the investment required for infrastructure. We're talking about facilities that can handle millions of liters of sewage, process it, and convert it into jet fuel. This requires significant capital, and finding investors who are willing to support such an unconventional idea can be tricky. We live in a world where the return on investment is often the deciding factor, and with this technology still in its infancy, there's a lot of uncertainty involved. But despite these challenges, the potential of this technology is immense. Imagine a world where our waste is not just disposed of, but is actively used to power our travels. It's a win-win for everyone. Air travel becomes greener. Municipalities have a profitable way to dispose of their waste, and we, the people, get to enjoy our flights with a clear conscience. The market for this kind of fuel is potentially vast. The aviation industry is a major consumer of fuel, and with the increasing pressure to reduce carbon emissions, sustainable aviation fuel could become a significant player in the market. 
the demand for greener alternatives is only going to increase in the coming years, providing a ripe opportunity for technologies like this to flourish. While these challenges are significant, the environmental benefits cannot be overlooked. We're on the cusp of a revolution in the way we power our planes, and every step we take towards a greener future is a step in the right direction. Using sewage as a fuel source has clear environmental benefits over fossil fuels. This alternative energy source, unlike its conventional counterparts, is renewable and can offer a significant reduction in greenhouse gas emissions. It's a step towards a cleaner, greener future for the aviation industry. However, we must consider the feasibility and limitations of this approach. In theory, if we were to utilize all of the United Kingdom's sewage, it would only meet about 5% of the country's jet fuel demand. Clearly, poop-powered planes alone won't solve the industry's environmental challenges. This brings us to a crucial point. While innovative solutions like these are exciting and have their place in the big picture, they're just one piece of the puzzle. We can't rely on a single source to meet our fuel needs sustainably. So, we need a diversified approach to sustainable fuels. While poop-powered planes offer a promising solution, they are just one piece of the puzzle. There's a broader need to diversify our approach to sustainable fuels. Relying solely on one source, especially one as unusual as human waste, might not be enough to fully tackle the environmental challenges posed by aviation. It's about creating a mix, a fuel cocktail if you will, of sustainable alternatives. Innovations are sprouting up all over the field of sustainable aviation fuels. From algae-based biofuels to synthetic fuels created from captured carbon dioxide, the potential for clean and renewable energy sources is vast. Each of these alternatives brings its own unique benefits and challenges, just like our poop-powered planes. The key is to keep exploring, to keep innovating. It's through this relentless pursuit of new ideas and technologies that we can truly make a difference. It's clear that the future of aviation will be shaped by these innovative solutions. As we look toward the future, poop-powered planes could play a vital role in sustainable aviation. The potential of turning sewage into jet fuel is immense, opening up a world where human waste is not just disposed of, but utilized in a meaningful way. But let's not forget this isn't a one-size-fits-all solution. It's a piece of a much larger puzzle. The future of sustainable aviation is a diversified one, where a range of innovative solutions work together to reduce the environmental impact of air travel. From wind and solar to algae and yes, even human waste, all these sources have a role to play in powering the planes of the future. Innovation and sustainability must go hand in hand, driving us forward into a future where our skies are not just filled with planes, but with possibilities. Join the conversation. What are your thoughts on poop-powered planes and the future of sustainable aviation?